Okay, you made a big decision. You want to play cello. But you need a cello and a bow to do that. You might end up starting with basic student cello like this or advanced student cello like this. Or maybe you are extremely lucky and you can play using professional grade cello like I have now. There are two main ways to get your new cello. Let me walk you through both options. The first option is to get it online. You search, you find acceptable price for you, you click and a few days later it shows in a big box on your driveway. You open this box and you are ready to play, right? Now you are so excited. You got this cello, you open the cello bag to take the cello off and start playing it right away. Oh no, it's not ready. What is that thing under the tailpiece? Why all strings are under the fingerboard? Where is the bridge? Okay, it might be here, yes, but how to put it? And do I need to glue it to the cello? And where to put it? And how it's going to stay there? There will be so many questions you will have to answer. If you have a friend who can help you to set up the cello, you are in luck. Otherwise, you will have to go to the music store and find a professional luthier who can help you with that. It will cost you a lot. And the end result might not be something you expect. Although this cello will be ready to play, but it will not be the cello you will be happy to spend your time day after day, month after month, and year after year. Without professionally made bridge, good choice of strings, and carefully selected bow to match your playing style and the instrument you have, you will not be able to advance a lot. And this is the whole point of spending your time with cello. Your skill will go up. You want your instrument to inspire you, to give you a hope to play better and better. And when you put enough effort, when you pay attention to technique and you practice more and more, you will hear different sound coming from your cello. This is why I would suggest try getting as good cello as you can right away. If you go to a good music shop, they will be able to offer you big selections of the different cellos in your price range. And they will give you a chance to try it right there and take the best one you liked home for trial period. Always ask for that, because in a music shop the room is usually has many other instruments and they resonate a lot, so every sound you make on your cello will feel much more resonant, much more interesting compared to when you play the same instrument in a different room. Take the cello you liked home and try to play it. After you spend a few days with this cello, maybe you'll get a chance to show it to your friends, 
maybe some of them can play this cello so you can hear it. Then you'll make your decision, decision about cello, decision about bow, and you will be ready to start your journey with cello. Yet another way to get your cello is to get a used one from a private person. And you might get a good deal. But remember, once you buy the cello, you are on your own. I would suggest, if you decide to go this way, bring an experienced musician with you. So that person can check if the cello you want to buy has tiny cracks or another problems which might look very little but will cost you a lot to fix or maybe even make your cello unusable. If you see any cracks on the body of the cello you are going to buy from the private person, that should be your big concern. Some of the cracks, especially around the legs of the bridge, are extremely expensive to fix. And if you don't fix them, then very soon it will be impossible to tune your cello, because there is so much pressure from the strings to the bridge, so the body of the cello will start changing its shape and this tension of the strings will never stay the same. That means your cello will never be in tune and you will never be able to play well. Most of the older good cellos have cracks. Accidents happen. But in order to fix those cracks, you will have to bring it to professional and it takes weeks and sometimes months and cost a lot. So that has to be a really good cello to be worth of such a repair. So again, very simple advice. Stay away from cellos with cracks. I hope those few ideas will be helpful for you. If you feel that you are confused, that's normal. Talk to your friends, go to the music shop, explore your options. Just don't feel you have to be in a hurry. Finding, choosing and buying your new cello is very important decision to make.